Scientists are calling it perhaps the biggest setback ever in the field of neuroscience. Hear why researchers believe one son of a bitch mouse is to blame. And later, an alarming new study from the Department of Transportation says the majority of freeway accidents could have easily been filmed. From the Onion and Onion Public Radio, this is The Topical. I'm Leslie Price, and when I read you the news, I feel invincible. Stay with us. Together, we can take on anything. The Topical is presented by Cash App, the number one finance app in the App Store. And now Cash App's investing feature allows you to buy into any stock with as little as $1. Invest in hot stocks like Netflix, Amazon, or my own company, Cajun Cans, the number one producer of canned Cajun stews in North America. With the rollout of our new jam and jambalaya, Cajun Cans is set to have a big year, so don't wait. Download Cash App today, get $10 when you sign up using promo code TOPICAL, and let's take over the canned soup market together. Well, it was supposed to be a day of celebration, but a huge setback in the field of neuroscience happened at the University of Iowa today. I'm joined by OPR's Rebecca Neal, who has the story. Thanks for joining us, Rebecca. Thanks for having me, Leslie. So what happened? Why are these researchers so disappointed? Well, it all started a few years ago when these neuroscientists began creating a highly intricate Y maze for a mouse subject to go through. Hmm. By observing the mouse's cognitive processes while going through the maze over a long period of time, the researchers believed they'd be able to make key discoveries that could change the face of neuroscience as we know it. Sounds like a worthwhile study. So they put millions of dollars and thousands of man hours into the experiment, spent months securing the funding, learning complex 3D modeling software, all so they could build this maze they believed would take weeks, even months, for the mouse to finish. But when they began the experiment earlier today, they didn't receive the results they were hoping for. Okay, I'm Richard Barrett, lead researcher, and today is truly a historic occasion as we begin what is sure to be a long, long journey on the road to expanding our knowledge of the human condition. We've worked endlessly for years, but today we're about to try the maze for the first time. All of this work is finally going to pay off. Here we go. Release the gate. Releasing gate. Truly an incredible. What the fuck? He already found his way to the cheese. What the fuck? He solved it in like two seconds. This took us fucking forever and he solved it just like that. Son of a bitch. Fucking little bastard. Yikes, I for one would not want to be on that research team. Me neither, Leslie. This study was supposed to assist in the treatment of lots of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, muscular atrophy, you name it. But now it looks like it's a complete dud, all thanks to this mouse that the researchers are calling, quote, a total piece of shit. You little fucker! It's taunting us. Look at it. It's just running back and forth through the maze. You asshole! You think you're some kind of big hotshot? Huh? Fuck you! God, I work so hard on this. All the sleepless nights. My wife left me. I haven't spoken to my kids in months. I should have never become a scientist. Wow, a true tragedy. Thanks for your reporting, Rebecca. Thank you. The U.S. Department of Transportation released a report earlier this week which found that the majority of our nation's freeway accidents could have easily been filmed. OPR reporter Charles Dearborn has been covering this story and joins me now. Charles, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Obviously, it's always a tragedy when you hear about a car accident that could have been filmed but wasn't. Whether it's a routine fender bender or a semi-truck flipping upside down and spilling stuff everywhere. But to hear that the majority of freeway crashes could have been recorded... That's tough to swallow. Hmm. What can you tell us about this report? Well, you're right. It's alarming. According to the new data, over 70% of car accidents were situations where, had someone been paying a little bit more attention, perhaps, we could have avoided not having cool video coverage of it altogether. That's a high percentage. And correct me if I'm wrong, earlier data from the Department of Transportation found that the number of freeway accidents in the country is up at the moment, while footage of these crashes is way down? Yeah, it's a disturbing trend. So many car crashes tragically have no surviving footage at all, and their new study may have found out why. I spoke with Department of Transportation spokesperson Emily Patzel, who says the report identified a few common reasons why so many accidents go unfilmed. Texting while the driver should have been filming is a leading factor in most crashes never being seen by the internet. If you see something happening, don't text while driving. Drivers should pull over safely to the side of the road, zoom in for some close-ups of the twisted metal and bloody shards of glass strewn across the road, and then text. 
Patzel says texting causes nearly two-thirds of accidents to go uncaptured, and lack of video can also be caused by human error. Sure. A driver briefly having his or her eyes on the road instead of on the wreckage a few lanes over or behind them. But according to the DOT, texting has actually surpassed the previous leading cause of unfilmed car accidents, drunk driving. Drunk driving can severely slow reaction time and impair judgment, which is essential if you suddenly need to make a quick maneuver to grab your phone when you see a sports car crushed by an 18-wheeler. So we've been adding breathalyzer checkpoints for this very reason, to make sure every driver on the road is alert and ready to film any cool-as-hell pileup that they may drive past or become part of. Well, so a lot of things that could easily be avoided. Unfortunately, yes. And even when a good Samaritan does step in to film, oftentimes it's too late. They might miss the good stuff, you know? Totally. I spoke with members of the group Mothers Against Missing Sweet Fucking Car Crashes, or MAMSFIC, and they don't seem surprised by the data. One member, Holly Mitchell, knows all too well how in just one moment you can lose everything you thought you had on video. I saw a 12-car pileup with an overturned gas tanker, and suddenly the tanker explodes. And the, it's absolute carnage, but it all happened so fast. I, everything's a blur. The whole video, you can barely see anything because I was rushing and my fingers over the camera a little bit, but I, I, I tried to stop it, you know, stop covering the lens, but I, I guess I wasn't paying attention and I hit the wrong button and I... I, I pointed the camera the wrong way. I just recorded my face. Heartbreaking. Charles, how is the Department of Transportation getting the word out to help motorists film these easily filmable accidents? Well, the DOT will be providing drivers with a series of tips and warnings through a new ad campaign they're calling Click It or Miss It. Patzel says she's hoping that drivers will put this advice into practice to ensure that not a second of viral content of a car careening off an overpass is senselessly lost. It's scary to think you could be forced to tell the story of a sick crash you saw instead of being able to pull it up on your phone. Yeah, but the truth is, no matter how much they prepare, drivers can't predict when an accident will occur, and every second counts. So if you just stay calm, take a deep breath, and remember, WMP, where's my phone? You should be okay. Great advice. It's always important to be prepared. Thanks, Charles. Thank you. Is there something interfering with your happiness, or is something preventing you from achieving your goals? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I tell my kids. I've got my own damn problems to deal with, okay? I'm not your counselor. I can't help you. Leave me alone. Luckily for my listeners and my kids, there's BetterHelp. BetterHelp will match you with your own licensed professional therapist so you can receive professional counseling securely and online. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Unfortunately for my kids, though, they're stuck with me as their dad, but that's okay. My tough love is good for them and for the future of BetterHelp. And with this special offer for Topical listeners, you can get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Topical. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P slash Topical. Now please, everyone, stop telling me your problems because it's really stressing me out. Here are the other stories you'll be mercilessly ridiculed for not being familiar with today. Better listen up. Residents of Philadelphia have a big change coming their way. Starting today, the city will be known exclusively as DirecTV Pennsylvania after cream cheese manufacturer Philadelphia was outbid for the naming rights. On Wall Street, stock and Pinterest plummeted today after the social media company announced that a security breach may have exposed millions of private meal prep boards. Users affected will be able to file a claim and in return receive photos of wedding dresses that are out of their price range. And quite an achievement today. For only the third time this century, the entire adult population of the United States was completely nude at 6.31 this morning. An extremely rare feat that hadn't happened since March 3rd, 2006. Congratulations, everyone. That's it for The Topical. I'm Leslie Price. And tonight I'm seeing a special screening of Godzilla vs. Kong. So you know tomorrow's episode is going to be sick. See you then. <laughs>